Hello, welcome to Microsoft Azure Cloud Channel. In this module, we will talk about how to copy data from AWS S3 into Microsoft Azure. I will log into Azure portal. I will show you how to copy data from AWS S3 into Azure Data Lake Storage Generation 2 account. I'm in the Azure portal now. I have a file that exists in AWS S3 bucket. I will copy that file into Azure storage account, Azure data lake storage generation to account. So I will create a storage account now. I'll go to home, go to search, type storage accounts, click on storage accounts, click on add. Now I need to create a, a resource group. Just say copy data resource group and storage account name. We need to give a lower letter, lower case, copy data. AWS two zero one and location East US. And go to networking connectivity connectivity method public endpoint. Go to advanced. And here if you see data like storage generation two, enable this and review. running final validation and let's create this storage account the deployment in progress while this storage account is creating let's go to home and go to search just type data factory and click on data factory let's create a data factory so we will copy data from aws s3 into a data lake storage account we will use this data factory do this copy I just say data factory one not available let's just say test one two and resource group Let's select copy data resource group and location East US and let's create this data factory deployment in progress and let's go back to the, the storage account that we just created let's create a container I'll say container one and we have we just created container and we'll go back to data factory and click on author and monitor now we are in azure data factory overview page and let's click on copy data now we're in copy data page and we need to enter a task name i'll just say copy data from aws s3 into data like storage two Task schedule run once now, and we need to create a source connection. Create a new connection. Here we see Amazon Market Marketplace Web Service and Amazon Redshift, Amazon S3 all available. 
let's choose Amazon S3. Click on continue. Copying data into Azure. Connect via integration runtime. Let's keep this auto resolve integration runtime and access key ID, secret access key. You can get it when you from your AWS account. When you log into AWS Management Console, go to I am user, click on user, and once you are in the user, uh, click on actions or secret key. You can always generate a new one or you can use the existing one. So where there we can see access key ID and secret access key under the I am user. So I have I already copied those keys. I will just enter here, access key ID. And we need to enter one more secret access key. Now let's test the connection. Our connection successful, our source connection is successful. Let's create this source connection. And click next. So from which folder we want to copy. So let's go to browse. And I have this Azure logo folder exists in Amazon S3 bucket. So I have one file in this Azure logo S3 bucket. So I want to copy that file into Azure storage account. I will choose this Azure logo folder in AWS S3 bucket. Enable binary copy. And now we need to create a destination connection, create a new connection. We want to copy this data into Azure Data Lake Storage Generation 2 account. Click on and continue. And copy data into Data Lake Storage account. Account selection method from Azure subscription. Click on Azure subscription and storage account name. Copy data AWS to Azure One and test the connection and create this connection. Now we created destination connection. Let's click on next. So where we want to copy data. So we have a container available. Let's let's choose this container one. So we want to copy the file from Amazon S3 bucket into this Azure storage account container. Choose this container and click on next. Click on next. So here we can see it in the summary. We are running pipeline to copy data from Amazon S3 to Azure Data Lake Storage Generation 2. And we can see the task name, copy data and task description and connection name, Amazon S3 and destination Azure Data Lake Storage. Let's click on next. So now it is deploying. Let's go to monitor. So here we can check the progress, the status in progress, copying a data from Amazon S3 into Azure Data Lake Storage. Let's click on, now it is successful. Here we can see under the status succeeded, activity type, copy, and the destination, container one. So I will go back to Azure storage account and see if we have this file available in Azure storage account. I will go to resource group and go to storage account and click on container. Check in the container if we received file. As we received file, that Azure logo, this is JPG file that exists in Amazon S3 bucket. I just copied this file from 
S3 bucket into Azure storage account using Azure Data Factory. Just click on this. So here you can we can download or we can delete if we want. So this is how you copy a data from Amazon into Azure. If you have any questions on this copy data from Amazon into Azure, please post it in the comment. If you like this video, please subscribe and share the channel. Thank you.